Hi guys, Ree here from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and a really exciting vlog. We have come for a family day out somewhere that I have not been for such a long time, probably over a decade, and that I used to come as a child on school trips. We are in Technoquest in Cardiff Bay, which is completely transformed since I was last year. They've had massive investment, huge extensions, and so many amazing hands-on experiences and shows to explore. Plus, apparently, there's also a retro area, which I should be able to recognize from my very own school trip. So I'm really excited to see that too and show the children where I used to come when I was their age. So we've just come in to the main entrance. There is a gift shop on the main entrance we'll explore on the way out, I'm sure. There are cloakrooms and buggy storage that you can find in the main entrance, as well as lockers, which is really, really handy to know if you want to walk around and actually have hands free to explore the exhibits. That's a really good thing. So apparently each area is coded into different types of science. So let's go and explore some of the amazing exhibits they've got here at Technifest. Wow, what have you found, guys? Yeah. What's happening here? No, no, can you explain it? Molecules of solid, liquid, and gas. Okay. That's a gas. Okay. This is a liquid. Ah. It's solid. Solid. So the solid. Oh, so liquid, that's. It's a bit more junky. And then gas. It's like. Ah. It's junky. So it's demonstrating. It's, it's demonstrating the molecules of solid, liquid, and gas. Solids okay. like to stay together. Liquids spread out a little bit, and then gases go all over. The place. That's amazing. What have you found, Zaza? So what do you have to do? You have to get the hydrogen, right, right amount of hydrogen and oxygen. And yeah. Then you like adjust the temperature. And then like you well, you adjust the pressure and then you So we've got this tag thing that we need to register. We have a code that we got from reception. This is a paid for extra, but apparently, scan this code here. So you use these machines here to register your tag. Then you get a card with a barcode to scan on the exhibit. And apparently that will allow us to save photos and things. exciting to visit it when I was younger and with all the updates they've made the children are really enjoying it Wow! So you pull that, what happens then? Woo! It launched it just by pulling that pulley Is it like a giant puzzle, that brain? It sort of fell out, so I'm trying to get it 
It fell out. The brain fell out. Oh, it's a shame. Okay. Oh, there we go. You did it. Yay! <laughs> what are you building, guys? I'm sure he's going to be a I don't know. Are you? <laughs> oh, no. Is that lying the wrong way up? How's the, how's the patient doing? Is he no, going to survive? I'm probably not. Probably not. Oh, never mind. I'm probably going to get fired. Okay, yeah, this try? way, this way. Are you having to hold them in so they don't fall out? Yeah. At the <laughs> Just like a real surgeon. Here, the children were complaining they were hungry. So, shall we go and get some food before we are booked into that show? Because we're booked in to go and see a science show soon. Would you like some food soon? Yeah. Yes. Shall we go get some food? <laughs> Trying to drag them away now. They've gone from I'm starving, mummy, to I can't be dragged away from all hands on fun. So, so much has changed since I last came to Track Quest. Honestly. Other than that, that retro hall, the place is pretty much unrecognisable. Even the entrance is different. It used to be opposite where we parked, which is in the Mermaid Key car park. Um, but now it's kind of like around the side. And they've also got this nice sort of coffee shop eatery that we're going to go and explore now. Yes, I know you guys want to explore the shop, but we'll have to do that on the way out, okay? I know, on the way out. Come on, we've got to go and get some food. Through to here to Coffee Mania. Now this is a coffee shop that you can actually access even if you're not paying to come into TechnoQuest. Wow, so they've got a lovely selection. In this fridge up here, you can choose from children's meal boxes with orange juice, chocolate biscuit, crisps, and either ham, cheese, or tuna roll. Or there are different drinks and things in here. And then over here as well, we've got toasties, paninis. Mummy mm, might fancy a panini. But there are egg salad sandwiches, wraps. There are some beautiful looking cakes. Look at that chocolate fudge cake. How amazing does that look? Oh my goodness, they've got Rocky Road. Guys, they got Rocky Road. Look at the Rocky Road. Wow. So gorgeous. And then fruit smoothies. And then soup of the day. We can see up there is tomato and basil. Jacket potatoes. Belly. You love jacket potatoes, don't you? It's one of your favourite things. What are you fancying, guys? A little sandwich box or some hot food? Um... children have opted for these little sandwich boxes. And what have you got in your sandwich box? Bella, show me what you've got in your sandwich box. Daddy's getting out. Daddy's getting out. Okay, so we've got a roll and you chose one of you's got ham. William, tuna for William and cheese for Zaza. And then you can upgrade. So the children have upgraded to these little fruit shoot. And then they've got a bag of crisps each. And a penguin, a pepper, 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 pepper. Daddy Four and I have got one of these each, and then we're going to go back for coffees and cakes afterwards. And we've just gone for a jacket potato each. I say just jacket potato. That's before I actually saw how gorgeous this is. Really lovely salad. It's all beautifully dressed. Everything in this place looks like it's just a really nice place to come for lunch, even if you're not actually going to Technoquest. But if you're going into Technoquest, make sure you leave enough time to visit Coffee Mania. It's getting a thumbs up from us, isn't it, guys? Yeah, thumbs up from Zara. Our food was delicious. We really want to try some of the desserts from Coffee Mania. They look so good. But we've got a show booked for half 12. So we are going to go and do our show. In fact, we've got two shows we're going to do. And then when all that's finished, we're going to come back and enjoy a dessert at our leisure because I do not want to rush those treats. They look too good. So back through the shop. Avoiding the shop, guys. We haven't got time now. We'll have a look later. Now, the not so easy task is to get the children past all the exhibits that they want to touch and play with <laughs> and to the show.
was brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah. It was so good. The um, guy who was presenting was really, really engaging. Obviously very knowledgeable, but really performed and got everyone involved. Loads of interesting questions and just taught in such a fun way. And I can't remember, did they used to do demonstrations? Someone chime in um, who came to Technoverse back in the day. I remember all this whole bit. But I don't remember there being demonstrations back then. I don't know. It was a long time ago, wasn't it, when Mummy was a little girl, so it would be much longer than I would care to admit. Anyway, um, the children are going to have a look, a look around a few exhibits because then we've got another show to attend in the... Planetarium! As a notification, the next show, which is in the planetarium, is about to start. What are we expecting to see in the planetarium, Wim? Well, I guess a demonstration on like planets and stars and things. That sounds cool. It sounds very cool. What do we think of the planetarium? It was really good. What did you learn about? Planets. Planets. It was really cool, yeah. wasn't it? It seemed like you were actually kind of flying through space. Do you guys want to explore some more exhibits before we go yeah. and get some cake? Yeah. Which way do you want to go? Which bit we haven't seen yet you want to go Upstairs. see? Upstairs. Upstairs. Come on then. So I've just been to the lockers at the front. Nobody wanted to take off their coats earlier, it's suddenly everyone's hot. Um, so I've been to the cloak rooms at the front. There is actually a five pound deposit to pay if you want to get a lock of the key, so I've just done that and then I'll get that back. When I return the key. Okay, what do you want to go? You want to go look upstairs now, do you? Yeah. Come on then.
whole dark area was really cool. I quite like the fact they've got lots of different little sections, each of which is quite different from the last. Anyway, I can't see a little sit down now because it's been lots of fun and quite busy. So we're going to head back to Coffee Mania, have a little sit down, have some little sweet treats before we come back for a little last look round and grab our coats before we head to the shop. We've managed to choose from a very large selection of treats. Let me show you what we picked. We have gone for a rainbow cookie. Oh, that's also gluten-free. Some lemon drizzle cake. A rocky road. This is super popular. We actually had their last slice. A caramel shortcake. Also known as a millionaire shortbread sometimes. And this one is a Bakewell tart slice. It looks quite spongy and yummy, so we'll have to try all these. What are we gonna try first? This one, the chop. Oh, well, let's chop it up and try, shall we? Lovely. How's the Bakewell tart slice? Mm. What does it taste like? Cakey. Cakey. <laughs> it tastes like a Bakewell tart. Mmm. 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 Are you going to try the Rocky Road tart? Yeah. Come on, give us the verdict. Give us your review. How many out of ten? Ten. Wow. Mmm. So all of these desserts have been really delicious. But for me, while I thought it would be either the caramel shortcake or the Rocky Road would be my favorite, I've got to say it's the, the Bakewell slice, which was a surprise favorite for me. Although when I was having an R-ing at the counter, she did say the Bakewell's very, very popular. And it's a lot of people's favorites. Which is your favorite? My favorite has to be the Rocky Road. The Rocky Road, okay. Rocky Road tastes like, like, sort of fudgy chocolate. Mm, it was like a nice gunchy one, very and nice. And with marshmallows, mm. and that, that, I really liked it. I really liked it too, I just like the baked pearl slice more. Bella, favourite? Um, I quite like the lemon cake and the, um, the mini and extra. Mm, that was very good. Daddy, four, favourite? I like the lemon cake. Mm, lemon cake, but? Mm. This, that was a surprise, surprise winner for me. William? Big call for you as well. Yeah. Now, we are going to head back into Tech the Quest in a minute, but I thought we'd just have a quick chat about kind of our thoughts on it before we head back in for a last look around. I was really surprised at how much fun it would be. I knew that there was hands-on stuff and that's what they call the retro hall, I remembered from school. Um, and from when uh, we were last here, which was, well, before William was born. So with my eldest, over a decade ago. So I knew they'd enjoy it, but I didn't realise there's so much here and so much new high tech stuff. So I was really impressed with that and all the shows and things that obviously I don't remember anything like that. From the bits that we've already done, it's yeah. very nice. And I think Techno Quest is good, it's a nice place to go <laughs> with your family. It is a nice place to go with your family, is it? Because the adults and the children all enjoy it together. William, what are your thoughts on Techno Quest so far? Um, it, it's amazing and my favourite exhibit is that there's like sponges and you slide them across the floor and put them across the table and the air it. And they give you like the, um, they show you about the, the water streams and things. Love it? All the air yeah. streams? Mm, yeah, like, they were yeah. cool. What's your favourite exhibit being Bells? What's an exhibit? The exhibit, you know, the things that you play with. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you I know, thought it those... was a play. No, no, no. Yeah, an exhibit all the is like all the stuff. Yeah, the, each, in, each individual thingy that you played with is called an exhibit. Uh, so which has been your favourite exhibit now that we've learned so much science and exactly what an exhibit is? I like the one where you press and you go up. One where you press and go up, that is good. Zara, so your favourite exhibit? Now you know what an exhibit is, so I just I talk to sister. I actually have two. You two, yeah. Same one as Bella and I also have... My, I really like the xylophone, so that's my, that's my other one. That was really good. Oh, Bella's got another one. So, I like the one where you bash. The one where you bash things. Excellent. But Thank no, you for that. When there's metal and then there's a the xylophone. No. No. It goes through and you have to get it to the end without bashing. Oh, the but buzzery one. The bonkers. Yes, the buzzery one. choice was to do the slide again, we've done that. Will and Bella, what are your choices of things to repeat before we leave? Uh, mine's in there to 
to the left there's like a sponge thing. Come on then. The yeah, yeah, street. Let's go yeah. and have a look. Bella, what's your thing? We need to press the button. I don't know. To lift you up. Oh, the one we press the button to lift you up. I think I want that one. That one's upstairs. I know. And I love that one. You love that one too. I think I'll take the stairs, especially since I've got walk bags. So we need to go and grab our coats from the locker and hand in the key and get my five pounds back. And then explore other gift shop. What have you found? Gem. Gemstones. Do you know what? When I was your age, I used to love all these as well. Do you know what any of them mean? Rose quartz. That was always my favourite too. Where's rose quartz? Oh, there it is. Look. Rose quartz, so pretty. I 100% bought like a Technoquest rubber type thing when I was in the gift shop. That's a rubber, it's the kind of thing I would have bought. I almost definitely had one of those when I was in school. Or maybe one of, probably more like one of those. That's more practical sized rubber to put in your pencil case. Technoquest pink pen, or you were looking at these squishy balls. Let's see, balls are two pounds. They're cool. Dinosaur puppet heads. Jet, yeah, so you can kind of go. What do you got in your mind? I think a duck. I you think, think a duck? I don't know. A duck doesn't have anything to do with Technoquest. Daisy? No? Daisy, Daisy duck. Why, you, why have you got these in mind? What? Raja and... Oh, I don't know. I just love... Well, I was thinking a gemstone. Or a gemstone. So would you prefer a duck or a gemstone? Yeah. William, what have you found? All this stuff, and that's not stretching the record. No, it's a little Technoquest stick, stick, stick man. Yeah. Mommy. Yes, I darling. Think I might want a bunny. A bunny. I think. So. These are cool. Look. Well, handy if not cool. <laughs> multiplication tables. Does anyone want to um, not have a cuddly toy and instead choose multiplication table blocks? Look. Well, multiplications made easy in blocks. Am I persuading you? Nah. <laughs> so Bella has ended up choosing a duck and some rose quartz. William has very sensibly gone for a rubber pen and pencil. So that he's thrown on the floor. And Zara is choosing a little tiger and some amethyst. Come on then, let's go pay. Because the amethyst is my bird. Is it? How do you even know that? <laughs> well, a massive thank you to Technoquest and to Coffee Mania for having us today. We've had a really lovely day out. Check out the Technoquest website for full opening hours and details of how you can book your visit. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all those other YouTube things. There are some more videos on screen now that you may enjoy. I shall see you guys over there. Bye.